Hello people, in this video we want to look at uh, pertussis vaccine. So basically, pertussis is nothing but whooping cough, isn't it? It's caused by Bordetella pertussis a bacteria. So here we are more concerned about the vaccine guys, not about anything else, okay? So pertussis uh, is, is whooping cough and it can have a lot of complications like otitis media, pneumonia, right, convulsions, Rupture of diaphragm, I'm guessing because of all the coughing, violent cough, isn't it? Then uh, it can flare up pre-existing dormant tuberculous uh, focus. Then malnutrition can occur. Lot of things can occur. Okay. Epistaxis, that is nosebleed. Conjunctival hemorrhage, cerebral hemorrhage. Okay, that looks scary, isn't it? As this is a bacteria caused uh, disease, there are antibiotics to treat it in the earlier stage. So, what is the vaccine? Pertussis vaccine. So, basically, if you see the national immunization schedule, whatever you are seeing here as pentavalent, 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 right? This is the uh, containing D, P, T, H, H, right? That is <coughs> diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, hepatitis B, HIV, that is hemophilus influenza B. So, P here is the pertussis, okay? So, you have pentavalent, pentavalent, pentavalent. Here, DPT booster is there, right? There are two boosters, DPT booster, DPT booster 1 and DPT booster 2. So, totally that person will get 5 <coughs> doses of pertussis vaccine, isn't it? So, basically pertussis, so earlier we used to have DPT. That is nothing but whole cell component of pertussis. Now, that is something DAPT, a cellular component of pertussis. Let's understand this, okay? So, this is active immunization. Active immunization means we are going to inject the uh, tox, uh, toxoid etc. so that the body will make its own antibodies, isn't it? So, when and all is DPT given or uh, your pentavalent all, you can say the same thing, 6 weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks, booster around 1 year, after 1 year, no, yeah, after 1 year, 5 year, okay, like that you can remember something. So, 6, 10, 14 you remember. Basically, you're, uh, we are discussing here DPT. Now, it's actually pentavalent. So, the pertussis toxoid, whatever this P part is there, right? It will potentiate the effect of diphtheria toxoid. So, it is actually improving the effect of uh, the diphtheria vaccine. Okay. So, pertussis combined with diphtheria tetanus and all that. Like we told you, the whole cell and acellular uh, vaccines are available. Okay. Then, there is some Tdap booster. So, how is this vaccine stored? It is in the middle compartment of, okay. So, 2 to 8 degrees only, right? All vaccines 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. The dose is 0.25 to 0.5 ml. Most of the vaccines will be 0.5 ml. You can just remember standard. How is it given? Intramuscular root. The root of administration is intramuscular. In infants, it is given on the anterolateral aspect of thigh. Okay. Contraindications to whom this vaccine should not be given if they have had a severe reaction earlier and if they have progressive neurologic disease. Adverse reactions of uh, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus uh, uh, vaccine. Just remember if they ask pertussis, you'll have to write this only. Adverse reactions if they ask fe fever, febrile convulsions, painful local swelling, so, all this you will standard, you will write for everything, isn't it? Painful, swelling, local, okay. One to three hours after injection, collapse. That's scary. Pallor, sweating, slow pulse. And then the child recovers, they are saying. Okay. Allergic skin rash, all the standard things you will write. Pseudo tumor <coughs> cerebri. This is like a false tumor feeling. But actually, it is increased pressure, isn't it? High pressure in the brain. Encephalitis, inflammation of brain. Look at this last one. Provocation or activation of polio during an epidemic of the disease. What is this activation of polio? Interesting. So, these are the uh, adverse reactions. If they ask in the exam, you will have to write this. What are the adverse reactions? Always start off with the easy ones, local reaction, allergy and all that. Then uh, they are saying here that brain mainly collapse. Then they are telling encephalitis, pseudo tumor, cerebri, right? A fever, convulsions, all these standard things you can write, right? Activation of polio. That looks bad too, right? 
So these are the adverse reactions. So basically in this video we wanted to look at pertussis vaccine that is a vaccine against whooping cough. <clears throat> we looked at the dangers of pertussis. Then we looked at uh, the uh, schedule 6, 10, 14 weeks booster at uh, uh, one and a half year, five year. Then uh, pertussis toxide increases the uh, effect of diphtheria toxide. So that is why they are combined. Uh, you have whole cell and acellular uh, options. There's a something called as a Tdap booster vaccine okay, for older children and adolescents. Whenever there is a small p or a small d, all these are for adult dose, okay, small d, small p, okay. <clears throat> so then we looked at the storage, then we looked at the dose of the vaccine, the route of administration, Contraindications we saw and adverse reactions also we have seen. Okay, so that's all about pertussis vaccine. Bye bye. People just let us understand this whole cell versus acellular. They are saying that first of all they are saying that this acellular thing is having lower incidences of local systemic and CNS side effects. The side effects are less with the acellular one, right? Though they like it, right? looks like the acellular one has three or more antigens. There are so many antigens in this uh, pertussis, right? And it causes a lot of problems. So many antigens are there. Three or more antigens are there in the acellular one. So basically this acellular one, okay, has lesser side effects, okay? However, <clears throat> the immunity of whole cell will be longer. Okay, this one will wean off very soon they are seeing. And this whole cell one, right, which was given earlier, the whole cell one, it should not be given beyond uh, 7 years of age. So basically remember, acellular is the one that they like nowadays, they are giving this. It has uh, 3 or more antigens, it will have less side effects, but it will have a lesser duration of coverage. So basically you can understand, right, whole cell vaccine, like whole cell, right, whole cell vaccine, It this was the one that came first, the entire Bordetella pertussis organism, right, inactivated will be used. But in acellular, right, they are saying only the purified components of Bordetella pertussis, such as the inactivated pertussis toxin will be there, only the toxin will be there. So it's having less side effect. So is this clear now? So whole cell will have the whole cell. A, um, a cellular will not have the cell exactly. It will have only the uh, toxins. So the a cellular one may be a little expensive. Okay. So what did you learn? Whole cell will have entire organism, right? So, A cellular will have only certain toxins and it has lesser side effects. Okay, but it is expensive. That's all you have to know. If you know this much, you will be able to answer what whole cell and what A cellular is. Okay, we'll add one more thing. It will give longer duration of coverage. Right? People will be covered for many years unlike the cellular just remember the booster is actually T A T D A P T D A P right so it is a cellular the booster will be a cellular 